Welcome to um, the KCDD Access to Technology Project. Uh, our Zoom discussion today is on smartphone safety. It's our very first one, um, and there will be many more to come. So we're happy you're joining us today or you're watching um, if you um, joined us at a later time. Um, here's our agenda. So we are going to do a welcome. Um, we're going to have everybody who would like to introduce themselves do that. Um, we're going to go over how to toggle some um, key security settings on the Moto G Power, Power Phone. And then Josh and Skyler are going to present their first set of tips and tricks, which will be the top 10 things you shouldn't give out on the phone or online. Um, and then we'll do a Q&A. Okay, guys. Um, again, welcome. I'm Rachel Hiles, and I work with the Kansas Council on Developmental Disabilities. Um, and I'm going to turn it over to Josh um, so we can get our introductions rolling. Um, and I'm going to stop my share for just a moment um, while we do that. So, Josh. Sure, Rachel. Thank you. Uh, hi, everybody. I'm Josh Alters. I live here in Topeka, and I'm on the KCDD Council is a self-advocate, and we've also got another self-advocate, Skyler from Wichita. So go ahead, Skyler. Hi, I'm Skyler, and I'm from Wichita, and I'm a council member on KCDD. And so I lost. That's okay. Uh, Craig, would you like to keep the introductions going? Sure. Thanks, Rachel, Skyler, and Josh. I really appreciate the work you guys are doing. My name's Craig Knudsen. Uh, I'm staff on the Kansas Council on Developmental Disabilities, and I, I live here in Topeka as well. And I'm just thankful you guys were able to join us today to learn more about uh, uh, cell phone safety. And I think one of the things we want to do is we want to allow people uh, who've joined us to introduce themselves so that they feel more comfortable uh, asking questions throughout the presentation. So, um, Rachel, I'll turn that over to you and you can call out people to introduce themselves if you'd like. Okay, great, cool. Um, the next person I see is Jenny. Um, my name is Jenny. Okay, thanks for joining us, Jenny. Okay, next I think we got, uh, looks like Jesse. Hello, yes, my name is Jesse. I am the health and fitness coordinator with Special Olympics Kansas, and I am currently in Kansas City, Kansas. It is cold. Okay, um, Charlene, you wanna say hi? Hello everyone, my name is Charlene Cobbs and I'm with the Kansas Council on Development Disabilities. I'm staff. Thanks, Charlene. Okay, Tammy. Hi, I'm Tammy Allen with Families Together here in Wichita, and I am also Skylar's proud mom. Mm -hmm. Hi. Okay, next we have Tav. I, I am Tavrick Lawless. I am from Wichita, Kansas. I am 25 years old. I am a health messenger with JC, and I am a volunteer for Family Together. Thank you. All right. And last but not least is Jeff. Good afternoon, everyone. This is Jeff Schroeder with the Kansas Council on Developmental Disabilities uh, staff. I live in Topeka uh, as well, and it is cold here also. I can't wait for summertime to get here. So I uh, just also want to mention that I, I see on uh, Facebook Live, Robin Herzog is attending. So Robin is one of our uh, self-advocates as well, too. So thanks for letting me participate. Awesome. Yes. Hi, everybody who's on Facebook and Robin, too. Thank you so much for joining us today. Okay, cool. So um, we're going to dig right in. Um, Skylar's going to talk to us a little bit about... Um, the first thing we're going to talk about, which is spam calls. So Skylar, do you want to explain a little bit about 
why we decided to talk about spam calls and um, explain maybe a little bit about what they are for people who aren't necessarily sure. Yeah, it sounds so and uh, what a spam call is and uh, it can mean a lot of different things. Um, it can mean somebody calls People think spam calls might just mean hello and um, hang up. But what I'm talking about spam calls is uh, they can call and say they want to try to sell stuff. Um, and then uh, just, just a little asking for personal questions and a spam call says if we sign up for this, so uh, um, don't, or it can ask for your number some number, don't ask for the, don't give that information out because they can use it against you. Mm -hmm. So that, uh, that can be a spam call to. That's great, Skylar. Oh. That's an awesome explanation of what spam callers are. So there's all kinds of them. There are spam calls that people just call and then they hang up and you're like, what the heck? And other people are trying to get your personal information. Um, I know some people have explained um, situations where the um, caller offers lots and lots of money or a very cool prize um, in exchange for like a, a green dot card or some other kind of financial information. So um, it's a huge headache and we're gonna talk to you right now about how to block out those calls on your Moto G power phone. Hey, Skylar and Josh, I got a quick question for you guys. Now, when you're talking about spam calls, these are usually people we don't know, right? Uh-huh, right. Okay, that's good to know. So it, it, it's, it's strangers, and sometimes they have phone numbers that look like legitimate businesses, right? Why, and, okay. and Sally, they can be numbers that you might recognize, and with that, they could might call on that number and say, oh, that's a spam call. Well, the mm -hmm. phone might tell, Literally, the, if you're on a cell phone, especially, it can literally tell you that sadly, if you're on a landline or a different call, it might come up by the phone number, but not as spam. And, and you might get a spam call at the same person, but they might can, they can, you might say after so long my oh that's a spam call well they can change their phone numbers too and call in a different number and you because there's a use of you people using that number which now they figure out so they say oh we might need to change our number so you you just have to be aware of the numbers. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I, I, I know I've received a few spam calls on my phone. I was just kind of curious if Josh and Skyler, if you guys have received any spam calls on your phone so far. Yeah, Craig, I've gotten a few for like car warranties and I don't drive a car. So I'm like, I just, I don't even answer them or anything. I just, you know, I say, hey, I don't drive, so I don't own a car, you know, just laughing it off and going from there, and then I'll hang up on them, you know. 
Right. So you're pretty careful about not giving out information when if you do happen to answer it, right? Correct. Well, maybe Rachel, uh, Skylar, and Josh, you guys can talk about are there ways that we can stop spam calls? Yeah, I mean, there's, you know, there's apps like Robot Killer and some of those that, you know, you can connect with on your phones or they have them in the app store, you know, if you go to the app store on your phone and look them up, you know, I mean, there are some that cost a little bit of money, but some of them are mostly free, you know, like that. And do, do, do you do we know if our phones that we have uh, have something on them that can help stop? Rachel? Uh, yes, they sure do. I <laughs> am uh, Craig and I put together a little um, step by step instructions for you guys. Um, and this is being recorded and we'll post it on the KCDD website um, and also text it out to those of you who are um, part of the technology project so you can refer to it again. So let me uh, go ahead and share my screen and I will just quickly walk you through those instructions. All right, so on the Moto G Power phone, um, it's pretty simple to block spam calls as a whole. Um, and then you can also, um, block individual callers. So we'll go over that really fast. First thing you do is tap your phone icon um, to open your phone app, um, like you're going to make a phone call. Okay. And, and Rachel, can you show us on that uh, screenshot there where that phone is? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's down here. If you haven't customized your phone yet, um, it's the blue phone icon down in the bottom right. So then when the phone screen opens up, it'll probably open up to your recent calls. Right up here in the top right, there's three dots that are going up and down. You will click on that or tap on that to get to your settings. Once you've gotten to your settings, down here towards the bottom, it says caller ID and spam. You're going to tap on that. Then um, all you have to do is if they're not highlighted in blue, that means they're, they're turned off. And you'll want to tap them to turn them on. Once you have activated those settings, they're going to turn blue. Is that does um that makes sense to everybody? Yes, no, maybe so. Okay, cool. Well, like I said, we are going to post these instructions on our website and probably our YouTube channel even um, so that you guys can follow along if you wanna um, adjust these settings at a later time. Um, like Skylar said, um, sometimes those uh, numbers can be, those um, spam callers can just be a huge pain in the neck and sometimes they can still get through because um, they'll just dial you over and over and over again. So we're going to really fast show you how to block a, an individual phone number or caller. So the first step is again to go and open your phone app using that blue icon. Once you have that open, you're going to find the number that you want to block in your recent calls. So um, Craig got this phone call from North Carolina, and I'm just going to assume that Craig doesn't really know that many people there. And so he wants to block that number. He's going to hold his finger down on that number. And then you see this little pop-up box shows up. And you're going to tap on block report spam. Once you've done that, um, you all you have to do is tap block to confirm that you want to block that number. If you think it's a spam number, you can also tap that um, checkbox that says report the call as spam. And then um, they're going to record that number and try to filter it out for everybody else. Those are the steps. Whoop! Those are the steps 
to um, blocking um, spam calls, both kind of as a as a group, just blocking them all out, um, and individual numbers on your Moto G Power. Um, and like I said, we'll clip those instructions out for you so you can go back and watch them um, at a later time. So I think we'll take a pause really fast um, and ask, does anybody have any questions um, or comments before we move along to Josh and Skylar's top 10? Rachel, I, I have a question. Sure. Uh, this, is, this is Craig. So sometimes we there might be some people in our lives who aren't treating us very nice uh it, it might harass us on the phone can can we block their number using that same thing that we did to block spam well craig that's a great question um yes you can uh block people temporarily um and you can i think follow the same um instructions to unblock them. But yeah, sometimes you just need to take a break um, and tell them stop the madness. And so if somebody's bullying you or giving you trouble, um, you can definitely block their number and it will send them straight to your voicemail. Great question, Craig. Yes. Okay, cool. Um, all right. Well, I think we're ready to get started with um, Josh and Skylar's. Um, oh, let me let me share my screen so I don't I don't mess it up because I want to uh, make sure it's right. Uh, tips and tricks with Josh and Skylar. Um, the top ten things you shouldn't give out on the phone or online. And so Josh is gonna kick it off for us. Take it All right, everybody. Uh, number 10, don't talk about private or personal matters. So Thank like, you. don't talk about where you're going, you know, if you're going out shopping or on a trip or anything like that. And cause they can tell by that if you're going to be not home for the day or a week or whatever, if you're on vacation. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a good point. Okay, Josh, thank you. With number nine is Skylar. Um, when, when you're at, no, don't give out your more personal information when, say, you're going to work or when you're at work, don't show that on the old, don't tell people where you work at because they might end up causing, um, say, oh, it's not wolf, so let's go to the house and do, do break in or it's that's, that's great, Skylar. And also, don't you guys think you shouldn't really talk about too much unless you have permission what you do at work? Um, cause you might be revealing top secret confidential information, right? Right. <laughs> okay, cool. All right. Next, is, uh, number eight is John. All right. Number eight is photos of your family or your children and close family members. So you don't want to share like your kids' pictures of like where they go to school or anything and... That's a really good point, Josh. How come you don't want, how come people shouldn't do that? Because you don't want them to see where you're at and because mm -hmm. they can come there and hurt you that way. And... That's a very good point. Um, and we can always make sure that our, our posts are friends only so only people we know um, are able to see them if we're posting them on social media. Yeah. Great. Thanks, Josh. Okay. Skylar's okay. next with number seven. Uh, no, uh, don't uh, tell people you're going on vacation because that will, it's another opportunity for people to uh, go to your house. So, uh, 
take your stuff. Yeah. Stuff like I, that. Yeah, that's really smart. They can follow you around or yeah. disrespect your space. Okay. Thanks, Skylar. Okay, next. All right, I know we discussed this oh, earlier, crap. but oh, the photos of you. Photos of you or your children's close family members or your home, so. Yeah, we just really want to make sure you guys um, got that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Sk Skylar with number five. Uh, just don't uh, be careful on who you give your phone number to. Uh, don't even give it out to uh, people to put their identity thieves. It's true. That's true. All right. Next is number four. All right, number four, your passwords are password hints. You don't want to give your passwords out to people because they could type it in and steal all your information, your personal information, and all that good stuff. Okay, thanks, Josh. Okay, this is Skylar with number three. Uh, don't give out your address if you have to meet the person or whatever. Go to the convenience store or somewhere out there and uh, just uh, kind of wait there until uh, 45 minutes or something before, they, uh, before you go home, before you end up going home because they can Probably uh, see where you live, so uh, just don't do, do that. Okay, great. Thank you, Skylar. Okay, number two. All right, private details like your social security number, date of birth, and mother's maiden name. So you don't want to give out that information because they can look you up and steal all that from you to get whatever they could get that use that for like your to find out how much money you have in your banking account and all that good stuff. Man. Okay, and number one. Skylar. Uh don't uh give out your bank information like your account number or even tell what bank you're banking at um, even your calling number and your phone number uh, just because they can uh, take that information and use it against you and because and then I just ties into a dandy thief and they can so personal information like that so stuff don't give it out at all. All right. Well everybody let's give Josh and Skylar a round of applause for that kick butt top ten. This <laughs> touched you this touch Okay cool. Well um, I think we are done like with our planned uh, discussion points. So now, if anybody has any questions or comments, or maybe you'd like to share your experience, um, perhaps where you were bothered by a spam caller, um, feel free to chime in. Rachel, I have a quick question. This is Craig. Sure. Uh, what does the slide said not to give out our phone number to people? Is it okay if we share our phone numbers with like friends and family members and our case manager? What do you think, Josh and Skylar? I would say yes, because you, so in case somebody needs to get a hold of you, in case there's a emergency or a medical emergency of something going on or somebody was getting uh -huh. really bad. 
And so basically, Scaler and Josh, you're saying just don't give it out to strangers, right? Right. right. Yeah. Hey, guys, this is Robin. And I got a question. Does our phone have voicemail? Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yes, it does. So, okay. Um, I think um, all you have to do is open up your phone app. I, now, I am I'm not lucky enough to have a... You, you can't... Uh, if you hold down the one until yeah. it goes to... And then after couple of seconds, it will go to straight to voicemail. Okay, so you can um, check your voicemails that way. Um, let's see here. I have, um, I do not have a Moto G power, but I do have the instructions uh, right in front of me here. Or maybe Craig, you know how um to check voicemail so, so rachel if you go to that screen that we had that kind of showed where the ellipses were yeah if you can pull that one up i'm gonna do it right now okay i think while we're waiting another thing that we might want to think about that maybe wasn't mentioned that we don't want to share is the you know a lot of us have codes on our phones to be able to get into our phones oh like, yeah we don't want to share that we don't we want to make sure that maybe uh if when we're opening our phone that we're not letting people see our code mm -hmm. uh, so that might be another code thing to think about that we don't want to share with other people that's a great point, Tammy. Thank you. That is, I'm to give yeah. out your personal pin. <laughs> okay, Craig. Hey, I got your. Um, this is the one you wanted, right? And so, if you take a look at the bottom of that, down there at the bottom, you see a little thing that says voicemail. You might. I hear Robin. Oh, yep. Yeah. And that—that's how you can access your voicemail. All right. So press that button. Cool. Cool. Does anybody else have any questions or comments about um, smartphone safety, um, preventing spam calls? Maybe you can. Um, what's, the, um, what's the safety thing for a phone? Yeah. No, I mean, no, on an, uh, uh, no on the question thing. Alicia, we can hear you guys talking, so we don't want you to have your safety pin on the the Zoom call, and we'll all hear it. <laughs> um, a question? Yeah. Um, Josh and Skyler, a lot of phones these days have internet on them. Um, do you guys have any like safety or security tips for using the internet on our phones these days? Um, you know, on the inter or on the internet, you don't want to put all your information on it. And all that good stuff, you know, you want to be as safe and not, you know, don't look at bad sites, you know, I mean, make sure you're spelling what you're looking up right and all that good stuff. Because there, there have been some where you type in certain what websites and they take you to somewhere else, you know, instead of what you're wanting to look up. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't because be, even a lot of people have public Wi-Fi, <laughs> but you have to be careful on what don't take advantage of that because some people can, okay? believe it or not, they can, uh, people can go through that and pull your information out. I don't know how, but they, they can. So if you can be cautious on what to use public Wi-Fi and don't, don't use it as much as you can because you can't uh, 
<laughs> like spell out from your phone and that people can you use that too. Awesome. That, yeah, that, that's you. really good good advice. You know, I think that surfing the internet is such a big topic that that might be, you know, something that we can explore in an entire uh, new session as well. I agree. I um I think you're totally right on that one, Craig. Um cuz there are a lot of nuances when it comes to your internet connection and um websites and are they secure and um that's a great question jesse thank you hey you're welcome thank you josh and skylar that was great great tips on the spot hey uh Taverick had a question in the chat that i wanted to uh share with everyone and see what kind of advice you guys might have for Taverick. he said my friends give out my phone number to their own friends without asking what what would you advise Taverick to do in that situation Josh? I would just be careful who you gave it to, Tavrick, because you don't want them to, you know, call you all the time at certain hours of the day, you know, because I've had that happen before where they call you like at midnight or one o'clock in the morning and and all that. So I, I wouldn't, uh, I would just be cautious of who you give it out to, maybe. And so if he's giving it out, I mean, what, what would you tell someone who's given out your phone number to someone? Would you maybe ask them to not do that anymore and uh, um, let them know that it's, you know, your own personal private information and they shouldn't share it with someone without asking you first? Exactly, Craig. I would make sure it was okay with me or the other person, you know, before... You know, if it's somebody that we both know, I mean, I think it would be okay that way. But if it's if it's somebody you don't know that very well, then don't give it out to them. So even if it's someone that you already know, you'd probably want to have the other person ask permission to get your number. What don't you think? Yeah, yeah. because I got I had a couple people that do and so when I get my number out now I just say uh, don't get my phone number out to anybody. I always put that in now so they'll so they don't end up giving it out to other people. That's really good advice, Skylar. <laughs> So it looks like Tavern has another question. He says, my friend takes my phone and puts it, putting in their own number. So Tavern, I, I may not understand your question. Are you asking, is it okay to let someone else uh, give you their contact information? I have really bad experience about it. Because um, okay. in school, they put their own numbers in my phone number. My my own cell phone, they take my phone away from me and put their own number in to contact. I don't like it. So especially in something like school, I think, you know, what, what would you guys suggest? So I, There's a lot of authorities at schools, right? Yeah. And maybe we should let someone know about that. Yeah, definitely report that to somebody. Yeah. So in school, who's someone you could talk to about that? My social worker. Do you, your social worker is a good person. Yeah. Uh, maybe you know if you have a class with a person, the teacher in the class, or the school principal. Mm -hmm. And let them know that they're they took your phone and uh, put some information on that. And maybe they can make help make sure that that doesn't happen again, right? But it sounded like you did a good job, Tavrik, and went to your social worker and let them know what happened. Mm -hmm. uh, 
one suggestion also that I have, which is not necessarily for um, Tavrik's problem, but lots of phones, including this Moto G Power, have a do not disturb feature. Um, and you can customize that. Maybe we could talk about it on another session. You can customize it so only people who are saved in your phone can get through and the rest have to go to voicemail. So if somebody is giving your number out without your permission, then um, they can at least get sent to voicemail um, instead of blowing you up. Um, does anybody else have any questions or comments? I think um, it might be time to wrap it up. Does anyone have any topics that they'd like the council and Josh and Skyler in particular to cover in future sessions? Anything you're having trouble with um, on your Moto G Power or something you'd like to learn more about? Well, we know Jesse brought up the, uh, safety, so that's going to be one of our future topics. Paul, Paul, we the we we button. Oh, how to make the phone more accessible? Mm -hmm. Yeah, are are, are people uh, having any issues with accessibility in their phone? And using your phone to attend medical appointments. Oh, telehealth. That's a great thing, too. Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah. And mm -hmm. coffee house. Mm -hmm. yep. Those are some great ideas, <laughs> especially like the coffee house one. Um, so people can come on. Um, to the monthly KCDD coffee house. Um, Tavrik says cyberbullying <coughs> be a great topic to cover. And I think you're right, Tavrik. Yeah. I can write that down on my list of notes. Yeah. All right. Well, it sounds like uh, maybe it's nap time. So I don't know. What do you think, Craig, Josh, and Skylar? You think it's time to? Um, adjourn the session for today. Sure. <laughs> well, I'd like to thank Josh and Skyler and Rachel for putting this together and giving us a lot of really good information. And I appreciate the, everyone's questions today. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Yes, you, you. Thank you for joining us. And thanks to Josh and Skyler. Um, you guys are awesome. So. Cool. Well, stay tuned to the KCDD Facebook page for future sessions. Yeah. And um, if you have any ideas for topics, feel free to send us a message. Keep, keep um, so have a great day, everybody. Nice Thanks, job. everybody. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.